Hey, what's up everybody? This is Seb de la Web and I'm back with a video. And today is not really about Flatsome. It's about a design technique that I'm using uh, in a lot of my websites. And uh, oh, this is gray, but not really gray. I need to rewrite that. But it's about using gray tints inside your designs. Uh, you can also call them uh, pastel kind of colors, but it's a very light color that I'm using to, uh, in most cases, to put a white box on top, as you can see here as well. I'm going to show you also some different websites like Instagram. They also have uh, like a gray background. And then because of that, they can put white boxes on top. They even using a, a little border to really make sure that you can see the actual column or box. Um, but it's not really necessary. If you take a look at Facebook as well, this is the uh, Flatsum Facebook group. And as you can see, because of they are using this bluish kind of gray tint, they can have these white boxes on top. So this is a technique that has been used throughout a lot of websites and I'm using it as well. And I just wanted to teach you a little bit about it. Um, so this is a website I created uh, uh, some time ago. And because of uh, using this grayish background, you make a little bit of a contrast between this section and this. And then because of that background, you can put white boxes on top. And the nice thing about this technique is you don't need shadows or you don't even need to have borders or border you know, strokes around it. Um, what I now created, and I hope it's really useful for you guys, is I created this page, this post. And if you're watching this video uh, on YouTube, you can go to the tutorial link and then you go straight to this page. And here you can find uh, six colors, six gray tints, uh, kind of, a, yeah, I also have blue and, and, and red and green, but let's call them for now gray tints and that 